everyone. Today I'm going to share with you about cutworms. We are here in our little, one of our tunnels of cabbage. And um, a couple of weeks ago, we found some cutworms. <laughs> um, most people would recognize cutworms as the little worms that come up in the night and they will just, they live in the ground. They come up in the night and they would just eat through a little seedling just eat right through the stem. Now this is a weed, so I'll go ahead and pull it. Um, they don't look like normal worms. They don't look like earthworms. They're actually gray, a little bit of darker colors in it. They're not, they have a pattern on them, but kind of a stripy pattern, but um, they look more like a caterpillar, like a gray caterpillar, but they're called cutworms. Anyways, they also can come up and with more mature plants, come up and eat the mature plants. They do really like cold crops, which would be cabbage and broccoli and um, cauliflower, kale, kohlrabi, um, and they really loved the cabbage. So was what they were doing is they were coming up in the night, crawling up and eating the center of the cabbage. Now this cabbage has um, grown a little bit so they ate the center I mean I'm sure they could eat the whole center and ruin it but I think that ours we caught them soon enough that all of ours will recover because it, it, the cabbage grows from the center out so it'll just keep growing and then we'll just you know these leaves that have been damaged will become leaves like these outer leaves but um what was happening well first I guess I should tell you about this we use these rings so that to prevent the typical cutwork problem, which is that they just would chew your seedling off right at the stem. As they come along the ground and then they run into this and I guess they can't figure that they could crawl up it and, and they die. And that's worked really well from us with our beans and with other crops. You know, as long as, yes, you don't trap the cutworm in the ring, then you're good to go and it has helped us. And so this year, I think what was happening is that since, you know, these are really healthy, big cabbages, the leaves, some of them that have gotten so big, then they were on the ground. And so the cap, cabbage, I mean the cutworm was crawling up and crawling inside the cabbage where I found them and just eating away. So it's really simple though. Just sprinkle the diatomaceous earth on it. You want to make sure you get the leaves and on the ground around it. And what it does is that even though it just seems like the softest little powder to us, it actually cuts into the skin of the cutworm and kills it. So it's a simple solution. You do have to reapply if after you water or when it rains. So you can see ours is washed off. You can kind of see where it was down in here. It's it's just been washed off from the rain and from watering it. So we're getting ready to reapply it. I only found one after the, I put on the diatomaceous earth and you could tell that it was dying. It was very sluggish and you could just tell that it was going down um, but this is what the leaves look like so if you're out in the garden you're checking and you have leaves with this damage and you can't figure out you can't see anything and you're wondering what's eating it there's nothing there then it could possibly be um, cutworms so just something to to know and just um, increase your knowledge so that if it happens to you you will have the tools to an organic method to treat the solution treat the problem and <laughs> sorry a solution for the problem so I hope you guys find this helpful and we will talk to you next time thank you